Hello, future Spartans. My name is Mrs. Villaseñor, and I am one of the school counselors at Davis High. I am so excited to be able to walk you through this eighth grade presentation today. I know things have been very challenging for you this year, but give yourself some credit, a pat on the back. You've already made it through half of the school year, and soon you will be balloting for high school classes. So that's pretty exciting. So let's just get started, and let me introduce you to your future counselors. We have a total of six counselors starting from the top left, you will find our college counselor, Mrs. Aguilera. Next to her is Mrs. Moraz and Mrs. Racinos. On the bottom row, you will find Mrs. Barrios, Mrs. Chupin, and myself, Mrs. Villasenor. As your school counselors, we are aware that there are a lot of questions and concerns, especially during this time. And I can assure you that we are working together to make this transition as easy as possible, as we know that your future awaits. So now, Take a look at these pictures. This will be you before you know it. Trust me when I tell you, it will go by fast. So soak up every moment. So now, let's talk about some programs at Davis. We have AVID, Agriculture Technology, Drama, Health Careers Academy, Public Safety, Language Institute, Middle College, and Music. In the next slides, we will go over a few. First, let's go over the Health Careers Academy, which is a program that offers academic curriculum as well as vocational experiences for students interested in careers in healthcare. Students are introduced to diverse health career opportunities to prepare them for skilled entry-level jobs and or entrance into colleges, universities, or technical schools. So let's watch a video. Freshman year, we got to go to hospitals and we got to see how the inner workings were. You learn how to work in a workplace with other colleagues. You learn good communication skills and you're getting basically the foundation information that you would use in every day working in a hospital or, you know, anywhere. It's, it's totally geared towards medical. Like I've learned so much just in three years and next year, I'm hoping to do the senior practicum where we actually get to go and look and like shadow all the other people like in the hospitals and see what their jobs and what they do every day. So if this is something you're interested in, please apply online, go to our Davis uh, website and it's a very easy application. Okay. Up next is Public Safety Academy, which provides introductory opportunities in the area of public safety to students interested in professional public service occupations such as police officers, fire safety officers, and law professionals. Together in a partnership with the community public service agencies, we will offer a comprehensive program of specialized training so that upon graduation, students will be prepared for skilled entry level jobs and or entrance into colleges, universities, academies, or technical schools. So let's watch a video. something you're interested in again please apply online on our Davis website on to middle college students who participate in middle college earn three college units for each middle college course they complete these classes are taken on campus at Davis High School during the regular school day and also earn the student high school credit that will help them meet the 230 credits required for a high school diploma there is no cost to the student for classes or college units. Here we have Frank Thrall, who joined middle college and did his own additional work to complete his AA degree coursework from Modesto Junior College while earning his high school diploma. Now that's a huge accomplishment. 
and think of all the money that you can save. So let's watch another video. Middle college is my opportunity to be more independent. Middle college is my opportunity to have a fresh start. Middle college is the opportunity to motivate myself. Middle college is my opportunity to be challenged academically. Middle college is my opportunity to earn college credit. On to AVID. So AVID serves students in the middle. They will be the first in their family to attend college. Uh, students have access to college testing information like PSAT, SAT, ACT, opportunities to take AP and college credit courses, college field trips for all students, college counselor, and AVID counselor support. So here's the video as well. I thought I could never seriously think about attending college. College was out of my reach. I am a Haitian American male from a single parent household who has lived in relative poverty. And thanks to AVID, I'm able to visualize my future and that pushes me to do better. I had to believe in myself and that's exactly what AVID taught me. I am a testament to the power of AVID and what the AVID system can do. As a result, I will be attending the University of Notre Dame in pursuit of a biomedical engineering degree. I will be attending the University of California at Santa Cruz. This fall, I will attend California State University Long Beach. I will go to college and make my dreams come true. My future is extremely bright. I have learned to advance via individual determination. Because I added, I'm limitless. I okay, on to agriculture technology. The goal of agriculture technology is to provide students with knowledge, skills, and experience in the technology used for today's agriculture careers. Our program builds leadership and employability skills through hands-on experience, project-based learning, and participation in FFA. Students will prepare for admission for universities and career development in agriculture science. Next. You can also join dance, drama, and music programs. They provide a great opportunity for our students who enjoy performing arts. These programs include beginning classes to advanced courses. How about sports? I want to encourage all of you to join a sport. It is a great way to stay connected, show school spirit, and it looks great on college applications. So look over all of the different sports we offer. Join one or all four years. All right, so what does it take to join sports? Yes, grades do matter. So in order to be eligible to participate in sports, students must have a minimum of a 2.0 GPA and no more than one F for the eligibility grading periods, which are first quarter, first semester, third quarter, and second semester. The nice thing about an incoming freshman is that you can join any fall sport. However, at the end of the first quarter, Yes, grades must meet the same guidelines. All right, so on to clubs. We also have several clubs for you to choose from. And again, we encourage you to get involved. Joining clubs not only helps you be part of your high school experience, but you can also play a part in servicing your community. So these are only some of them. I encourage you and we all encourage you to join. Okay. So let's not forget about some important facts. All right, so on to what your schedule will look like. All courses are year long with few exceptions. Five credits per class per semester, 10 credits for the year. P classes are 2.5 credits each quarter, two quarters each semester. Passing grades are A, B, C, even D minus, but no credits are earned for an F grade. If you fail a graduation requirement, you must repeat the class in summer school or extended summer school, which is after school, and that is not fun. So some key points, 230 credits to graduate. You will have six classes, right, um, for the year. Five credits each of those classes. You earn 30 credits a semester, and you will earn 60 credits a year, okay? And finally, on to what you've been waiting for, your freshman schedule. So you will have a total of six classes. You will have English, math, science, geography and health, PE, and yes, one elective. However, keep in mind that if you have a resource class on your current schedule, this will be your elective. If you have an English support class, English support class will be your elective. If you uh, want to get your foreign language out of the way for college requirement, which we highly recommend, that will become your elective. 
If you join AVID, yes, you guessed it, that becomes your elective. However, you can always ballot for a zero or an eighth period, which will give you some room to add another elective. So make wise, wise choices. All classes, again, are a year long commitment. Uh, choose one elective, right? Here's your classes, one elective. You're gonna rank them from one to four, and I'm gonna explain a little bit more in the next slide. So on to online balloting. And this right here is your balloting um, worksheet. This will be helpful as you ballot online. This is the front of it. And on the front of it, you will see the core classes, right? On the back of it, you will see the electives and it says pick four. Again, this is very important that you rank them from one to four. First one becomes your first choice, your priority. If that one is not available, we're gonna move on to the next one and the next one and so forth. So make sure that you are doing this very carefully. All right, good luck. So we're almost done. Just wanna go over some upcoming dates for you to keep in mind. Your teacher will announce the due date for your online ballots, Spear freshman orientation to be determined, and next year, high school starts August 9th. Yay! So, future Spartans, our time has come to an end. It was great sharing this space with you today. If you have any questions, please visit our school website or write down some questions because next you will have a video on how to ballot online. And the neat thing is that you will have a counselor available to answer any questions about balloting. So happy balloting. And until next time, everyone, we look forward to meeting you all. Go Spartans!